Hi, I will show you uh, how to use uh, the ignition timing meter with a DC CDI and a um, generator to, that I'm using to simulate a real pickup. I modeled, I modeled um, a real pickup and so I can play with the RPM. So I will power it up. Uh, first, shut down the pickup, power up the CDI and the ignition timing meter. Oh, it's asking me what is the pickup position uh, relative to the detonator, but I don't have to to enter a value, I can just use it as it is with a O with zero as pick up position and it will give me uh, the timing between spark between sorry between pickup and spark in degrees directly. Um, it can the device can uh, detect the pickup type if it's negative then positive or the opposite positive then negative in auto mode or we can force it to positive negative negative positive if we already know what the type is i will let him in auto mode and see if it's able to detect that it's first negative then positive Okay, start it. Now it's waiting for a signal on the input pickup. And so I start the pickup. So, as a reminder, it uh, display the pickup position which is uh, zero, the negative and positive, which is the type of pickup uh, that has been detected. The RPM is uh, 240, which is normally 60 times the Hertz, so 4 times 60 is uh, 240. Uh, uh, 240 yes and the delay between pickup and spark is written in uh, microseconds and the advance uh, is written in degree that below that's the DC CDI and to avoid the uh, noise and uh, parasitic uh, spikes which really interfere with uh, all of the electronic around i'm using a power resistor this one connected to directly to ground but you can see that there is some spark if i remove the crocodile hob Now I will increase the uh, frequency, let's say uh, 20, 20 hertz times 60, it's 1200, got it, at 1200 the advance between uh, pickup and spark is uh, 41 degrees. And uh, the DC CDI is doing its job. Okay, let's try another frequency 40 Hertz.
the DCCDI has been programmed with a rev limiter that uh, acts at uh, 5000. So uh, when I will reach uh, around 100 uh, hertz, the DCCDI will stop. You can hear it. Drive limiter is acting. 100 hertz, around 6000, and there is no display of uh, any advanced timing. That means uh, no sparks has been detected. So the uh, meaning that the wave limiter is uh, is acting. To detect the the spark, I'm just using a simple wire that goes like this to um, six, five or six turns around the spark plug wire, and this winding is enough to detect the the, the noise of the spark. It's an inductive uh, probe, uh, but don't use a capacitive uh, probe, which is uh, less uh, sensitive. Uh, only use inductive probes or just uh, wind five or more turns around the spark wire until you get uh, strong enough uh, spark detection. <laughs> 